In this video on natural logarithms and logistic regression, I'll discuss what is a natural log, what's the inverse of a natural log, how to take them in Excel, and how values of legit affect values of probability. So here is our example again. So our logistic regression produces the legit. We find the odds that something will happen by taking the inverse natural log. So here's how it's done. Here's our 1.75. When we took the natural log, we got 0.56. And if we go backwards now, if we take e raised to the value of 0.56, so here we see the equation here, we get 1.75. Now here is the function for doing it in Excel, and I would expect you to know this function. I would expect you to know that this ln takes the natural log of a number, and this exp, this exponent, takes the inverse natural log. So this is, these are the two ways of doing it. This takes the natural log and this takes the inverse natural log and you can see that they just go back and forth. We take the natural log of odds and it gives us legit. If we raise e to the legit, it gives us the odds. Often we're not as used to working with or natural logs as we are other values and so I provided a, I'm going to provide a brief review here of how to think about using exponents and how that influences odds so here I have got ranges of values for Z so a way to think about this is I'm going to get values for Z I'm going to get the, the log of the natural log of the odds sometimes I'm going to get negative values Sometimes I'll get values between negative 1 and 0. Sometimes I'll get between 0 and 1, and sometimes I'll get values above 1. And then sometimes I'll get 0. And when I get 0, we have odds of 1, and that's even money. We're just as likely to have a success as we are to have a failure. For example, if I had 10 successes and 10 failures, I would get odds of 1. So basically, what we can see here is that when we have a legit uh, between 0 and 1 that's taking 2.78 and raising it to some power here's the power we can see that we have these values if we raise e to 1 anything raised to the 1 power is itself and so that's going to give us our 2.78 but if legit is greater than 1 it will raise 2.78 to values to powers that are greater than 1 and we get these bigger values. So here's it squared, here's it's cubed, and so forth. If we have values that are less than 0, then we turn, we, then in other words, if legit is a negative value, then we get these sort of numbers that go from um, you know, 0 0.99 you know, on down to almost 0. But you can see how this works then. We are going to have odds that are you know, in these ranges. So here's a sensitivity of how P will be influenced by the value of legit. Here's where we've taken the inverse log, inverse natural log of that. So we've taken E and raised it to the value of legit. And here's some values of our odds. And then here are these translated into a probability and you can see these. So here we are with odds of 1 and that's a probability of 0.5. It's like flipping a coin. I have just as much likelihood of a success as a failure and that is related to an odds of 1. You can see that if my value is my value of legit is greater than 0 that my numbers get more and more positive for probability and as we get numbers that are approaching positive infinity we get values that are increasingly close to 1. The more negative they get, the smaller these values get. So that's sort of a background of how to think about what legit is going to be doing to odds and also what values of legit are going to be doing to probabilities. So here's another just way to think about it. I've done it both in English and in symbols. So if we take the natural log, and I'll just use an example of two, in English we would say e raised to the power of what value results in a 2. So in that case then, here it is in symbols, e raised to what would give us a 2? Well, 
if E is 2.78 and if it was raised to a 1, then that would give us 2.78. So it's going to have to be something less than 2.78. And by putting it in the natural log function, we find out that E raised to the power of 0.693 will give us a value of 2. Now then we can take the inverse of that. So in English, the question would be E raised to the power of 0.693 results in what number? In symbols, it's E raised to this results in what number? So we take the inverse natural log by using our exponent function in Excel. We give it that, we give it that power for E, and then it will tell us that the value is 2. So here, this is an example of going and taking a natural log, and here's the advantage of reversing that, taking the inverse natural log.